My name is Diana Araujo. I'm part of the team working for Europe MC at the European Bioinformatics Institute, and I'm here today with my colleague, Mike Parkin, who will be answering your questions in the chat box. In this webinar, you will have an introduction on Europe MC, followed by a quick guide on how to do a simple topic search and explore some filters and sorting options. Then you will learn how to filter your search to find publications with linked data. Europe PMC is a free global database of life science research literature. We are based at European Bioinformatics Institute, EMBO-EBI, and supported by third one research funders. Europe PMC has content from different sources. Uh, the content can be split into peer-reviewed publications, preprint, which are full-text publications, prior to journal-organized peer review, patents, clinical, guide, clinical guidelines, and more. Europe PMC counts with over 36, 36 million abstracts. Of those, 5.6 million are available as full-text and can be accessed for text mining purposes and so on. There's also a subset of full text that are hosted externally via a paywall. So how is European C different from PubMed and PubMed Central? When you search in PubMed, you will query only the abstract. And when you search PubMed Central, you will query only the full text. European C offers a combined search. So every keyword search, uh, search will query full text as well as abstracts. Europe PMC also provides citation network connections and data crosslinks, which are citations to biological data hosted in other databases. There's also text mined annotations available, information about author IDs called ORCIDs and biomedical grants. Um, so now let's start with a simple search using the, um, on the term P53 mutations. I will now go to the uh, European C website. So here I have the term P53 mutations and we will just run the search. So um, this is how the European C um, uh, page is displayed. You will see the number of results on the top of the result page. So uh, this search will return here like over eight to 9,000 results. If you have a look at the left hand side of the, of the page, you'll find options to filter your results. You can, for example, filter your search to get only research articles, preprints, or reviews. Uh, for example, uh, I will now filter my search to get preprints only. So here, uh, and then you will see uh, eight, seven results and the preprints will be displayed with a green label on the right hand side of the page. Uh, and notice that you will also be able to see the version of the preprint you are looking at. In the same way, you can filter your search uh, to get uh, reviews uh, only. So here you get uh, all the reviews and with the terms P53 mutations. Uh, and you will find reviews with a, a yellowish, yellowish uh, label. You can also uh, fill, uh, use the filter options to find articles that are free to read and free to read and use. For example, now, I will select uh, articles that are free to read and use. And, um, and then you will see that the uh, result list did drop to like 2000, nearly 2,300 uh, um, articles. In the same way, uh, you can use data filters to select, select articles. The date, the date filter to select articles, for example, only from 2019. 
Um, so now uh, I will show how you can sort uh, your search result list. On the top of the search result list, you see a drop down menu here called sort by. You can use this option to sort the results by date received, relevance, date published, and time cited. The sorting parameter defaults to date received, uh, which is the date when the article first appeared in European C. So if you want to see which articles are new in European C since your last search, you should sort by date received. Uh, optionally, uh, you can also you can also sort by date published. So it will show the date and the article has uh, was first published in a journal. So you'll be able to choose if you would want to see uh, the results in descending or ascending order. And you also might want to, for example, find the more impact, impactful articles and you can sort your results by time cited. So now you have the most cited articles on the top of the result list uh, in descending order. So let's go back to the slide for a moment. So a key focus for Europe PMC is linking literature with data. That's it, that is uh, connecting research articles with data and databases associated with them. Uh, I will now show how you can get linked data uh, behind research publications. So um, let's start looking for relevant data then. Uh, I will search for, for example, SIGK uh, mycobacteria, as you can see here. And, uh, and this time I will add the syntax has data. So back to the website, you see my search term, SIG K mycobacteria, what will, uh, and, this, uh, and this search will give me 94 publications. So as mentioned before, I will now add uh, the Boolean and, and the syntax as data. And then when I search for that, I will get six, six uh, results. Uh, I don't know uh, if you agree, but this number still seems high to me. And as our researchers, I would like to optimize my time. So I will show you now how you can narrow your search to get the publications with the linked data of your interest. So by first, um, I want to introduce you to another powerful search tool in Europe PMC. Uh, I'm going back again to the slides for a moment. So here you can see um, a drop down menu called data links and data citations and another one called external links. These are some of the options you can find on the advanced search form. Data links are citations of the article by a database record and are provided by several life science databases. Data citations are mentions of accession numbers in the text of the article. Uh, and data citations are available uh, for nearly 49 different database databases, including ENA, Uniprot, PDBE, and so on. Uh, additionally, you can use also exter uh, external links, uh, drop down menu, and you will find links from articles in Europe MC to related data, information, and tools. Uh, you can select a combination of these links and citations using the Boolean operators. So uh, now let's go back to the Euro PMC website. So uh, coming back to our previous search uh, on CK mycobacteria, uh, we will try now to narrow those 66 search, uh, results uh, uh, in our search by looking for specific data, for example. I want to get articles cited in Uniprot. So uh, let's uh, come to advanced search. I have it open here already. So in the advanced search form uh, back here, you can find it in the right uh, hand side of the page. So you we'll click here. Uh, I have it open here already. So you will come scroll down until you find data links and data citations. So here, you can select 
to find articles cited in Uniprot, for example. So uh, when you when you search uh, for this, you add to your search term and um, has Uniprot. So yes. So when you search, you will get you get 20 results. It seems like I'm more motivated to read these articles now, but first, where do I find this data on the article page? So let's get in the first article in this result list. So supporting data behind the article and database records submitted or created can be found in the data section on the article page. So here, let's explore the data section. So when you check the data section uh, of the article, you can find links to a number of data in several data resources. So for example, here you can see links to supporting data in bio studies. You can see nucle nucleotide sequence and ENA, and you can see proteins in Uniprot. So uh, when, uh, so you can also, Click to the link that will guide you to the um, data resource web page. And here you see you can now explore more of this data on Uniprot website. So back to the data section, you can see um, here that this article has over 22,000 record, records in Uniprot. Now I will narrow the search even more. Uh, I also want articles that have a structure cited by PDBE. So then I will go back to the search um, result um, page and I will add to my in my search box another syntax term. I will add, as you can as you can see here, has PDB. And then I will make my search. We now have only one result. Is that what I'm looking for? So let's have a look at the data section of this article page. So uh, I found data of my uh, protein of interest in Uniprot and also a structure and PDBE. So let's have a look at the structure. So European C allows you uh, checking the structure directly in the uh, article page. You can navigate through the structure. And you can also have a look at this data directly in the PDBE website. So now uh, we will also explore uh, the external links drop down menu to find relevant data. Let's do now a new search here, alpha kinase one. So this will return 93 results, as you can see here. So I want to find articles that have been created by Reactome to check the signaling pathway of this uh, alpha kinase one protein. So what I would do, I'll go to advanced search again that I already have open here, and I will come to external links. You can see the list of databases you can select from. Let's choose Reactome, and then we will search. Here, I already have the page open and it will return two results. So when I check the, the data section of one of these articles, for example, this one, here you can see uh, data links to many other databases, but right now my interest is on Reactome data. So here I can click in this link. And now I can explore the alpha kinase one signaling pathway. So 
So let's go quickly back to the slides again. So um, you can find more information, syntax terms on the search syntax reference page that uh, you will be able to get this link in the uh, PDF file you will get uh, after this webinar. And now I would like to introduce another powerful tool on Europe PMC that is called Scilite Annotations, which allows uh, biological terms or concepts to be highlighted for readers on open access abstracts and full text articles. These terms, concepts and relationships, they are identified by text mine algorithms and allow reader to select one of these uh, highlighted terms. So let's quickly explore this on the live site. So you can see the highlight annotation on the right side of the article page and um, this is how the highlight annotation will look like in the new release happening in the coming month. To highlight terms, you, you can see here the number of annotations, 383. So to highlight terms of interest, you click on annotations and then uh, a menu will be displayed uh, on the right hand side of the article showing the list of annotations available for this publication. So here, for example, I want to see genes, disease, chemicals, organisms, and then when I check the text, I can see all these annotations highlighted. And um, when I move the cursor on this annotation, uh, it um, that interests me. It will show me a window uh, and the and the and more information about the database and a hyperlink to the database will pop up. And also for chemicals and structures, you also have a preview of this and you also have the option to give a feedback, endorse, report or share this annotation. So once more, uh, going back to the slides. Uh, so uh, with that, I did conclude this webinar and I hope that what you learned today will make it easier to find relevant data in research publications from now on. Uh, if you have any uh, further questions or suggestions, please contact us on helpdesk at europmc.org. Uh, follow us on Twitter to learn more about new features and tools. And thank you very much for listening.